what is up everybody my name is jonathan for the like fourth time now forgot to hit record for the screen recorded the camera didn't record the screen but today we're in adobe premiere we are learning how to fix your breathing let's jump in so here we have a clip of me editing this photo in the lightroom that's on the channel of somewhere if you want to if you're interested in that but uh here we have found you can hear me breathing and it just bothered me. So I was like, I got to fix this. So I was sending these clips over to Adobe audition. And then it occurred to me that I was like, I wonder if I can just do this in premiere. And so sure enough, I searched for the same effect and it is here in Adobe uh, audio effects under amplitude and compression. It'll look like this when you first click on it. And then we're going to click and drag dynamics, not dynamics processing but dynamics over here. We're going to edit auto gate and we're going to drag this down to like 36. I'll explain how I get this number specifically in just a second. And so, but now let's listen. Sound on the rock and on the rock, on the rocks all the way around to on the ground, on the, hear the breathing. On the breathing gone breathing gone just like that if that's what you came here for thank you so much have a great day god bless stay safe out there but real fast how did we get this how did we get this threshold number so the threshold is where it it cuts out below those on the db scale and how i would pick that is because of this let's turn this off on the rocks all the way around to the around on the so you can hear me breathing around. right there so right there, and it's like right around at that 30, probably 38 to 40 ish line right there. So 36 is usually a pretty good safe bet for me and my voice um, and how loud I talk into the microphone. Because usually I'm up like me just talking is between 25 and 15 dB, sometimes a little bit louder, sometimes a little bit quieter, but I'm I'm just looking right at the uh input on the screen here on my computer and that's about what it is for me. So that's how I get the threshold number. So if you just adjust accordingly, just play around with it, find what sounds good. Again, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, leave a thumbs up. If you learned something, subscribe. And if you want more content like this, subscribe. You should you should subscribe, consider it at least, you know? And uh, if you have suggestions for future videos, I'm all ears, leave a comment down below. I love to chat with everybody. Thanks so much. I'm just gonna quit rambling now. You guys have a great day.